Hello teachers and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm teacher Casey and today I'm going to talk to you about doing a language and doing a language hiring process, what they're looking for in their teachers. Doing a language has been said to be one of the pickiest about the teachers that they hire, the teachers they choose. And I think it's okay for them to be. Now, why would I say that? Because doing a language is only looking to hire teachers that their clients are looking for. They do serve teachers or give teachers guaranteed hours. So they really need to be choosy about their teachers so that their clients will want to have them around. So I know Jerry, the owner, founder, interviewer, he really wanted me to understand and to let everybody know that he is not trying to be prejudiced or discriminating against anyone, but he's looking to hire teachers that his clients are specifically looking for. So native English speakers with neutral accents. I know many teachers come to me and they tell me that they're from another country and their English is great. And if they have a thick accent, they're, they're not going to get hired because that is not what his clients are looking for. So there are a few basic but mandatory requirements and I wanted to let you know about them. They are number one, teachers must be from the following countries with a neutral accent. So the USA, Canada, Britain, Australia, and New Zealand. He's looking for teachers that come from there. Number two, hiring teachers with at least two years experience of teaching Chinese students aged three to 12 years old online, okay? Now I did send over a teacher that had lots of experience in kindergarten, first grade, preschool, but had no online experience. And he is really looking for teachers that are already experienced online and feel comfortable. Number three, teachers with at least a bachelor's degree, which is quite normal for a lot of companies right now. Not all of the companies, but a lot of ESL companies. And number four, teachers with teaching certificates. Now, there are preferences. So there will be more of a chance for you to get hired if you fulfill these requirements or Number one, so he is looking for teachers who can provide more than 15 hours per week during peak hours. So from five to 9 p.m. on weekdays, eight to 11 a.m. and five to 9 p.m. on weekends, Beijing time, okay? So I'll just say that again. So it's basically five to 9 p.m., seven days a week and eight to 11 a.m. on the weekends, Beijing time, okay? He's also looking for teachers who are able to work for long term. So like a minimum of a year or so. He's not looking for teachers just for the summer right now. He's looking for teachers that will be around long term. He is looking for teachers that are fun, active and have lots of energy. I may have a lot of energy. <laughs> he is also looking for teachers who are willing to correct the students mistakes and ask them to speak in full, long, complex sentences. I know there's some um, question about this. Some teachers correct every mistake and some teachers are like, oh, they'll get it later. He is looking for the teachers that are willing to correct the students mistakes and ask them to speak in the full long complex sentences. He is also looking for teachers who have a child friendly classroom background setting. I don't teach here. Okay, when I teach, I have a background. I've bought several backdrops. Sometimes you can use like a Zoom virtual background, just depending on what company you're working for and things, but you want a child-friendly classroom, right? And the last one, it says, teachers who are willing to accommodate parents' special requests. Now, when I read that at first, I thought, well, what kind of requests are they going to ask, right? So I did reach out to Jerry and I did get us an answer back already. And basically he said, maybe adding some vocabulary. For example, parents may want teachers to speak slower or faster, which is very, very normal in ESL. Some parents want you to keep going and keep going so the student keeps listening and listening. And some parents want you to slow down so they can hear every word. He said, or skip something or focus on phonics or grammar, for example. Parents may also ask teachers to always correct the mistakes. We had mentioned that earlier or to always teach them the new vocabulary, so on like that. So it's not a special request like, can you stay late? <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure to explain that to you. That is specifically who he is looking for. Now, some tips for the interview. Number one, be on time. 
Jerry's a busy guy, and if he's going to interview a bunch of teachers, they need to be on time. Number two, attend the interview in a child-friendly background. So I wouldn't do my interview here. I would do it in my classroom where I'll be teaching the students. And number three, prepare some real examples of teaching previous students. How did you teach them? And what did you do to help them engage and learn? Okay, so when you're going to send in your demo video, it can be you teaching from another company. It is okay. He wants to see how you're teaching, your energy, things like that. So that is it for the tips on the interview. Um, just a couple more things. He wants to make sure he is giving competitive compensation rates. So he has raised the pay. So let me read this to you. It's, he sent this to me. At Duna, we offer competitive compensation rates to our teachers to ensure that they are well compensated for their hard work and dedication. Our standard rate for a new teacher is 14 USD per hour. Upon successfully completing the two month trial period and providing at least 10 hours of teaching per week, teachers may qualify for an increased hourly rate of 16 USD. For teachers who have been with us for over three months and meet the following criteria, we offer an hourly rate of 18 USD. So for teachers to make the 18 USD, you need to be there for over three months and provide at least 18 hours of teaching per week during the weekdays and the weekend hours that I had previously told you. You need to maintain a positive track record with parents and students with no negative feedback over a three month period. Demonstrate professional conduct by not cutting lessons short or engaging in irresponsible behavior. Number four, no more than one instance per month of teaching the wrong material, canceling lessons within six hours or arriving late or leaving early. I mean, that's part of your job, right? And it says, please note that failing to meet any of these requirements may result in decrease in hourly pay. So those are the parameters for teaching at Duna and a little bit of information. If you have questions or comments, please put them below this video if I don't have an answer for you. I will message Jerry and find out. That's about it. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please email me or email Jerry for more information and make sure to let him know that I sent you. <laughs> All right, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.